am back with a really fun video. This is a DIY embellishments video. I saw these products and I just had to use them, even though I just posted a DIY embellishments video a couple days ago. So this is a business that I'm sharing with y'all today. This is supposed to be Small Business Saturday, but I think today will be more of like Spotlight Saturday and maybe the future will be as well, just because some of the business I'm, businesses I'm going to be sharing aren't all that small, like the majority of them are. Um, some of them are more like medium size, and so I'm not 100% sure um, all the ins and outs of this business. It's called In Love Arts Shop. And I came across it because I got an email about a collaboration. I saw some of the products and I said yes. And normally if I get an email like that, I will check out the website. I'll look and see if it's anything that I could use and that I could truly use. I normally don't say yes to things like that unless I know it's something that I'm going to enjoy using. So I'm just giving you kind of a quick look at some of the products. Some nesting dice, some tags, some... Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, some stamps, some beautiful little botanical and floral stamps, and then also some stamp and die, like a matching set there. Um, so just a little bit more about uh, this business. So I don't know all, like I said, I don't know all the details. It might be an English company. I think they offer $25. Um, like if you spend over $25, I think it's free shipping right now worldwide. Cause I know my package took a little bit of time to get here. So I know it's, um, not a USA based company. Um, and I, once I looked at the prices, I was like, wow. So some of these prices are really, um, low in a good way. So pretty much everything I got that you saw there on the table was like under $50, meaning like the dies and the die sets The I think everything was pretty much like under $10 with maybe the exception of the matching stamp and die set, which would, which probably was like less than 15. I bet it was in between. It, it might even be less than 10. I don't know. I know like the nesting dies, I know all the like the other sets are like below seven dollars, so um, really great deal for these. And um, if I'm being honest, like I'm normally pretty like leery about stuff like that and wondering if it's going to actually work because, or if the quality is going to be great because I'm spending way less. Um, or in, in this case, they sent me the products, but you kind of look at the the price and you kind of wonder, but. Um, everything cut like butter. The stamps work great. And you'll see all of that put to be put to use in this video. So I am, I have grabbed some pattern paper and I just set it aside so that I could start, um, cutting some of these shapes. And all I'm doing is placing them on my big kick or big shop machine and running them through. And I'm not there's no rhyme or reason. I'm basically grabbing a piece of pattern paper, placing the die on top, running it through and pulling it out. And I'm not thinking like, I'm just kind of, I just want to get a good variety of base shapes. And I've talked about this before, but kind of my first step to creating a DIY embellishment is, um, grabbing my paper and deciding what shape is going to be kind of, I don't want to say not on the bottom, but what shapes are going to be kind of like the foundation or the main part of the, um, of the, like, the look or the embellishment itself. And so I'm running them through. I'm going to continue doing that. And then once I have a good amount or a good little stack of some different shapes, I will then move on to like kind of my second, my second step. So I love these nesting oval dies that have kind of that lacy look around them. Normally I gravitate towards not buying stuff like that only because this is really lazy what I'm about to say, but sometimes I worry like those intricate dies are going to be really hard to get those little holes punched and they really weren't bad at all. The majority of them just came right out. So I'm moving on to this stamp uh, set that has matching dies and I'm simply going to go ahead and stamp a bunch of shapes and then I'm going to go ahead and cut them out. But before I use the dies to cut them out, I'm going to just shape, I'm going to stamp as many as I want so that I don't have to, I can put the ink away and I don't have to worry about going back to that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just using this really pretty stamp set. I don't think it's photopolymer just based on like the, I think they're just acrylic because based on the um, texture, I think they're, I mean, I'm not 100% sure. I could be totally wrong about that, but they are, they're definitely high quality. Um, I just don't think that they're photopolymer because they're not as stiff, but they stamped so nicely. Of course, I'm using really great ink as well, but I think I did test it with one other ink and it stamped nicely with that ink as well. 
So I'm getting my machine back out and I, this is a really chunky machine. I'm, I need to look into like, I like the size of it, but I need to look into something like a little smaller when I'm doing some smaller little products. So now that I have all my shapes, I didn't go through the trouble of, I didn't want y'all to have to go through the trouble of staring me, staring at me, like putting the dies through my machine again. So basically you saw me stamp them all. And then I just went ahead and die cut those stamps out. So now I have all the shapes that I've cut. I have the ones that are just not from the pattern paper. And then I also have the shapes that, that were stamped and then cut. And now I'm going to start building my embellishments at this point. There's not a whole lot more to share other than the fact that I'll be just putting these together. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to have links down below um, to all of the different products. And I think that is pretty much it. I'm going to share a couple of photos at the end uh, so you can see the final result of this, but I really love the way these turned out. Um, I love that they're a little bit different for me in the sense that they have some like vintage papers. I also will, will share real quickly that some of the papers I used, so if some of them are very random in my stash from year, I'm talking like years ago, probably five plus years ago, but some of them are like printables that I found by just going to Pinterest and like searching vintage papers, like printable papers, and they were free and I just printed them from my computer. And that is a great way to use your printer and then use what you have. Um, and then also get some fun little papers that maybe would be hard to find in the store or online. So I'm going to continue building these. I hope you enjoyed this process. I'll link the products down below and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Thank you.